There is currently a clash between Tommy Robinson and GB News and one of the guests who appeared on GB News, specifically on Jacob Rees-Mogg's show. We actually have the clip that I'm going to show you, the clip that uh, Tommy Robinson is referring to, which, by the way, is uh, full of lies and, of course, slander. Uh, the, uh, the, the discussion was actually about uh, what happened on Remembrance Day. Do you remember? We were there. I did the whole live stream and uh, everybody behaved. And Tommy obviously sh uh, showed respect uh, to the fallen heroes and we followed him. He got on a taxi. He left. Uh, now, there were one or two people who were obviously from the beginning. They were there to cause trouble. Uh, they were just shouting around and all that. But uh, that was way after the whole thing finished anyway. And Tommy left and everybody else left. Anyway, let's go to this clip and see what was, uh, was going on because uh, Tommy is now uh, talking to his lawyers to take legal action against GB News. When there was a counter march organized by Tommy Robinson and his thugs, they threw more petrol bomb and rubbish at the police than anyone else has ever done in any of the last 10 or 12 weeks of marches. They, you know, maybe 200 of them attended that march. More than 100 were arrested. In other words, more than 50% of the right wing thugs were arrested. OK, so number one, there was no counter march that was organized. It was Remembrance Day. Uh, two, no petrol bombs were thrown. Three, more than 200 people were there but 100 people were not arrested. Hardly anybody was arrested, as you guys know, because the record is there. And uh, the issue that we have was Jacob Rees-Mogg was just nodding along and just listening. He didn't challenge him. This is why Tommy's now come out uh, to obviously say a so-called Imam, Ajmal Masru, has uh, just defamed me live on GB News while talking to Jacob Rees-Mogg, who did not correct him. I am seeking legal advice for this blatant defamation. Ajmal said that I organized a demonstration with my thugs who threw more petrol bombs and rubbish at the police than anybody else had ever done. Nobody threw petrol bombs at the police at the demo. It's not happened at any demo that I organized. Ajmal has praised the leader of Hamas as a true and honest leader who is apparently loved by his people naturally. And you should also know that the mayor of London has visited one of Ajmal's many mosques, the Palmer's Green Mosque in North London. Seriously, do you think this man is impartial? He is full of S and he, is pra he praises the mass terrorist leader. GB News had better make a very public uh, retraction and get rid of that wolf in sheep's clothing. This is the email that has now been sent uh, on behalf of Tommy saying good evening uh, to GB News. I am emailing you on behalf of Tommy Robinson, a.k.a. Stephen uh, Yaxley uh, Lennon again due to another case of defamation. This time on Jacob Rees-Mogg's program dated today, which aired this evening with uh, Mr. Ajmal Masru as their contributor and guests. Uh, Mr. Um, Masru claimed Tommy Robinson organized a demonstration, blah, blah, blah. Of course, then you can still see the rest of this email. And again, it's just, it repeats the same uh, issues. Of course, it is defamation. Of course, it's slandered. You can't really just go around spreading lies. Uh, saying he made a false allegation. Nobody at any protest has ever thrown a petrol bomb at the police and certainly not on our most sacred of days our mr's day the day mr masru was referring then there was another clip uh, that gb news posted uh, from uh, um, jacob reese mogg's show talking about lee anderson's comments about islamism uh, tommy again replied to it saying and continued defamation lies and slander on this channel against people standing up against the things you are now all brave enough to speak about is totally unacceptable now let me know what you guys think in the comment section of course we'll keep you guys posted on this case uh, as it will as it develops and we'll talk to uh, tommy and see if uh, gb news will also have anything to respond with i'm maya tusi and we are the media